All right, well, good morning. It's another beautiful summer day. We are back at Ted and Wilma's. Today we're going to be completing the pergola. The only thing left to do is put a roof on it. We've been waiting a couple of weeks for the roof to get here, and today we're gonna to be installing it. Ted has already prepped the shims that we're gonna to have to use to be able to slope the, the pergola, uh, the roof for the pergola. We're ready to just hop on in and get started. So the roof is gonna be running this way, uh, therefore our shims are gonna be running that way as well, and we want them to be 24 inches on center. So basically just marking every 24 inches. Good morning, Ted. Good morning. What are you working on? Trying to get this gutter to fit. This is a two by three gutter piece. This is a two by three gutter. They should go together and they don't. Because this one's just made a little bigger and this one's made a little smaller. So since we got to get over the roof of the pergola and the gutter came down, I'm modifying the gutter a bit. So we're going to come out with a really sharp 90. Most 90s are angled a little bit, so they, they always taper. So this one's going to come straight out, and then we're going to turn it this way, and then come back against the wall and down just to get it over the roof. So I bought a couple of these specialty pieces here that were sized for this gutter, but I don't know if the specialty piece is a little off or the gutter's a little cheap that I bought at the big box store. So they don't fit perfectly, so I've modified it a little bit there to make it fit and should be good. This is the current downspout position right here. And are you going to put a new one in? Are you going to put a new one or are you just going to attach to that? I'm going to attach to that one, I think. I've got the, the proper pieces that I can come around and make it around the corner okay. above the roof line. So the next thing is to get this all fitted up and cut, get that light down and get the gutter finished out up there. <laughs> Here are the shims. They are four inches starting at the top side and then it tapers off all the way down here and then it will connect to the next section which begins to taper off even thinner way down here all the way to the end. Do you have any plywood that we could put on top of this to use as a... Yeah, we do. We've got that three-quarter inch ply. I thought it was. This is pretty This is number two. So we need to butt it up against the back side of this. Basically what I'm doing here is kind of try to do every other one so that there is um, you know, good balance on both sides. And we're trying to make some headway in this project. It's almost lunch, but we have a surprise that's taking place today that was a little unplanned. It's a good surprise, so uh, let's go see what that surprise is. So Ted and Wilma got a new dog. He's already pooped and peed. Who is was, this? Is he not the best he's boy? So cute. Isn't he sweet? He is the sweetest thing. Come on, come on. Let's go. Good job. Yeah. That's a good baby. Oh, he says, well, hello. Oh, he's kissing him. He says, hello, friend. Oh, he likes him. Look at that. He's like, hello, how are you, big guy? This one's like, but wait. <laughs> yeah. Oh, did you hear him cry? Happy. Was that Desmond or? No, that was, that was newbie. He's like, okay, shake it off. Now Desmond's crying. So we've got one, two, three, four set. And how many more do you need? Like 20. Uh, we've got to do one, two, three, and then eight. Plus three is 11, so 11. And then there's mom over here with this puppy. This little pepperoni. This 
puppy is half the size of your big grown adult dog. Look at that dog, big puppy. He is really heavy. He is. He's a big boy. The donkey monkey. Dad, what are you doing? What you got going on here? Just checking the fit of the brackets that they sent. Is it right? We'll see. They're not the same brackets that they show in the illustrations, so. Oh, I'm not sure. Hey, bud. So this one's much wider. So the center of that should be at the center of that board, right? And it's not going to attach to the wood. Attach. We're going to do the first row and see where they all land. And hopefully they land OK. up at the end down there. Okay. Okay, so I think we figured out a pretty good system here. Go ahead and set this bracket here and we'll finish up this row. But basically what we're gonna do is we've already set uh, that one and we haven't set the first one. So here's our, our first section. But I think what we're gonna do instead of setting our shims, what we'll do is now that we've got this side ready to go, we'll go ahead and run our sheet and then we'll set the, um, the shim underneath that and toenail that in as opposed to trying to like make sure it's dead 24 on center here making sure it's perfectly spaced so i think it'll be easier to, to like set it that way and go about it that way so we've got uh three of these suckers up there we're gonna do the end one over here next but we've got to rip a portion of it off so it'll fit snug on the end this is our last piece and we need to rip this little lip off right here and we're gonna try i brought my track saw and we're gonna see if we can get it right up where that little lip is right there, that edge. I'm lucky for Teddy Boy, I brought my track saw. <laughs> and I do have a second track, but I knew that if there was the potential that we were gonna use it, we were, it's gonna be redundant to have two put together because we were just gonna end up having to move it anyways. We are in mosquito territory. Here comes, here comes Buck. He's ready to go. Are you boys besties? Pat, what you got there? Transformer. I've never seen something so old school. Do we need to lower everything to meet that? We have a puppy coming to assist. And there we go. What did Ted said something? Said something really positive. Well, he said, that's great. I'm gonna have to get me one of those. You have to get one of those. He said it went really well. He said that went really well. Rip that joker right on down the line. Ted has finally got the trim piece on the piece of cover that we ripped, and it looks pretty good. What's the secret that you found out? Just got to use this to cut as you go. <laughs> so we finally got the edge one all done and the trim piece all set up and now we are attacheing it. So if you line the washer up with that line right there, uh -huh. then it should be perfect. Okay. okay. Sorry. Here it is. I 
little progress report for the evening. We've got pretty much all of them complete and this side's got some nice trim on it. For whatever reason, the instruction, they tell you to start here, work that way, and then go back. So we're gonna have to flip our brackets, our spacers, which is odd. So this last piece, we will probably have to rip it. But other than that, we're gonna call it a night because we're both really tired and I'm a little sunburnt. Yeah here and there. So we're going to take some showers and get cleaned up and rest and we'll be back tomorrow to finish up this job. Check this out. So here's the situation this morning. We have this shim right here. We got to put this little roof section on. This shim needs to move to the right a little bit, but we've already attached the roof and this screw right here, we can't reach it. Not without this little right angle attachment that we just bought, and that should work. Just like that, it's magic. coffee mugs say. It's Ohio State. It's the worst football team in the country. Year to year. Go balls. <laughs> Dad had zero comeback. Busy. I don't have time for all three teams that are under, under uh, suspension. I will say, so I was born and raised in Tennessee. We used to watch Tennessee football all the time. I kind of lost interest over the years, but recently I've adopted a, a spirit for Ohio State Buckeyes. Oh wait, because that's the only thing they'll watch. What do you sports wise? Respond to what he said. Oh wait. I owe. Yay. do have to use the window here. Start with this leg. It's like doing the limbo. Oh God, and the splits. <sighs> All right, we got the last one sitting up here. It's a little bit of a tricky situation because it's on our, our shim, but we're gonna have to screw it in back here. I'm not gonna film myself doing this because this is gonna be really difficult. Hi, this is hard. I got it. You need Justin. I got it here and all the way down and then from here up it is too tight against the socket so even the right angle won't work so it's just going to be while Ted is climbing around on the roof I'm trying to figure out the best way to trim all of this right here I'm going to try chalk and a jigsaw. So here we have Ted. We have tied a piece of string to something heavy and we're gonna try to figure out how far out we want this to go based on the gravel. Per the website it's like one to two inches in overhang but it might be a little bit more for us in order for the cover to go into the gravel. So, okay, so that's pretty close to the edge, right? Yeah. Yeah, you're like maybe two inches from the patio. That's better. You could probably go a little bit more. Here we have Ted marking approximately two and a half inches off of this edge, this last rafter, and that's gonna be where we cut. Jess is plugging you in because you're dying and you need a charge. So I can see down through the clear top right at the edge of the our board that we measured off of. So I'm just measuring two and a half inches off of that. And then I'll need a straight edge so I can mark a line across here. Okay. Find something that'll fit in between here. 
I don't have the level that we need, but I do have this poplar. Inside edge, so get rid of the mark. Inside of that mark. Hopefully that's satisfactory. Oh gosh. Did it work? You're gonna be happy about this, Ted. It's a Bosch blade for a Bosch jigsaw. Look how happy the jigsaw is. How about these? We're trying to find these end caps. This is really bright out. I, I, don't, I don't know what, what you're talking about, Ted. Oh, here we go, here we go. Found them. I saw them before you even did. And you didn't say nothing. They seem to be all the same. All the boys have left to do is put these end caps on and Let's cover go. up. You're going to put them on the other end? Cover up the oh, ends of the middle. Done! You got it. You have finished the pergola! How you feel? I feel pretty good. Dad, how you feeling? Good. Honest opinion, what do you think about this thing? I like it. Very happy with how it turned out? I am. So, what was the hardest part in installing this thing? Um, I think we had to work around being under this heave. So it made it very hard to get the panels under the soffit under, under the soffit the panels tucked up under the brackets that were there and made it very hard to secure that in so that was the toughest thing for me but you're happy to be done right i'm happy to be yeah. done now what was the issue with it the instruction said to start here in the center and work that way but then come back and do the final two what was that yeah about? that's what it looked like so that's the way they 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 said to just work it from the middle out so we worked it one direction, but then we had to reverse the brackets on the other side because the way they're made, we couldn't have installed them like they were. Mm. Ted, the man, the myth, the experts. He's carried us the whole way through this. So thank you to Ted. That's gonna do it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed watching us put this pergola cover on, uh, make sure you like this video, comment below, let us know everything we did wrong and what we can do to be better. Uh, if you haven't seen how we built this pergola, that's the last video. Make sure you go check that out as well. And stay tuned for more that's going to be done to this backyard. We've got a few other projects that we're going to be doing over the course of the next couple of weeks, next month or so. And we'll make some videos on that as well. We also have an office build out that we did for a doctor. And we've got a video coming soon for that. So make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can see all of those fun things. And until next time, we'll see you guys in the next project. I'm so high. Bye.